these videos yesterday. Um, that sort of online video was just a pain in the ass. And honestly, I felt like I shouldn't have done that video just because I didn't expect it to take an hour and I didn't expect it to just take so long to render. Now the fucking rape of consoles and shit is popping up, Jesus Christ. Um, but no events are here. And the only thing that interests me on in Brazil is getting those ultimate accessories. That's probably the only thing I'm going to be focusing on. Might top up, I don't know when. Um, as far, I just want to pay attention to the daily, what is it called, the uh, daily present? I think it's called, yeah, daily present or whatever. Um, because the 5k top up is for the ultimate reward, so I'm going to pay attention. Maybe one day they have like an equipment set I can get for free. That's the day I'm just going to top up and get some accessories. But today is also going to be a special video because we will have a, the a 10k cultivation bar filled up and I'm going to just basically get the level 10 spirit stone boxes. Now I'm very fucking scared because when I was topping up and opening all those boxes it was ridiculous. I was getting terrible stones so it, it really pains me to have to open them. Uh, I'm just really fucking nervous. I have so many spirit stones from Ryoka that I just don't open or don't synthesize, I mean stacking up to like 30 or 40 of each I need to probably go through those, could definitely upgrade some low level stones the vitality has been stacked for a little bit um, I still haven't put, what's his name uh, Toshiro back in a formation, like I c I'm just too lazy to put him back so since I'm not 110, I have only access to one instance that gives me that uh, militia fragment handguard, fuck I did it manually Whoopsie! Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a Bleach Online dailies as well today. Just to talk about the new events, see if anything changed on the US side of things. But uh, today is Friday, so maybe when I wake up, because the Bleach Online video is going to be recorded at a later later date, there might be news about the Ryu Jin Jaka's on Pacto. So I'm going to delay that Bleach Online video a little bit later. This one's going to come up, maybe the next one's going to be in a few hours. Um, pretty much, we're gonna find out from the developers what Ryuji and Jaka will do, if it will target the supports, assaulters, whatever it's gonna do. I am just praying that they use it to kill the support meta. It needs to die. I've been saying this every other video. It literally needs to die. It is just one of the most boring things that came into Bleach. I miss, I miss where it was two years ago where you actually seen fights get intense and they last like five rounds and shit like that. Or even like low VIP fights, honestly. Like seeing high VIP fights of people just getting nuked by a Senji Maru or something. It just gets ridiculous now. It's super fucking lame. It's boring. We need something new to just re-energize the game, I guess. Change the meta. Stick away from supports for a little bit. Or just make it balanced, you know. Make it where, support, where assaulters can actually compete against supports. Because it's just fucking stupid now. You know, it's like you have assaulters that can't reach the speeds of supports. Just because of Cotton giving 30% extra speed to supports and your watch is probably being the fastest assaulter, has a 5.0 growth rate. Even with a speed bond, he still wouldn't be able to outspeed and support to the end. So it's really it's really crazy. I mean they need to put them on the same level. They just they just have to. So uh, it's fucking getting too too bullshit. I mean it gets to, it got to the point where assaulters are useless now. Like you really don't need assaulters. Berserk Renji is probably the most used assaulter. Because his fifth mod is basically the anti-support meta assaulter. You rarely see people come up with a Mugetsu or a Yawaj, and if you do, I mean, they have to stack that to shit just to actually compete. So it's uh, it's really a, sh a shameful thing to see, but supports are the way to go. Uh, I was going to do something. Oh yeah, so after the Vitality, um, let's, just, let's just do things in order so I don't get carried away. Um... We will have those spirit stone boxes to open, but let's just do the daily task for a bit. Do things that lead up to it, and then I will shortly bring it to you. And I just realized that the day is going by so fast these days. It's I have eight days until I end up in Florida. Like I'm flying out next Friday, so it's uh, it's gonna be a fucking journey for me. That's all I can say about that. Uh, I'm really. I don't know, at the same time I am looking forward to it, but at the same time I'm not. Just because I'm fucking terrified of airplanes. But I mean, it's gonna be good to try and take a break away from everything, so... I don't really think I'll be able to 
bring uh, YouTube videos out other than the ones that I've scheduled. And for a lot of the videos that I do want to schedule, I ha I can't even record them ahead of time because I have to like basically throughout this week. That's when I'm gonna start recording those videos and then start getting them rendered because. Another problem with recording like 10 videos that I planned on doing is that I have to render them all. So you can only imagine how many hours of rendering it's going to take to do everything. So starting Monday, I'm going to start trying to do some videos that don't require time. And then the, uh, the videos that require to be more up to date, then I'm going to save those for like Wednesday and Thursday. And on Friday, I can't do any videos. I'm going to basically be able to do my evil spirits and then I'm out. I'm already going to the airport. So... Oh, fucking nervous, <laughs> fucking nervous, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta fucking stop it. This weekend, I'm gonna be packing up, cleaning my place, just so my uncle doesn't have to live in the shithole that I left him in, because I have to do fucking dishes, I have to do everything, like, my place is a mess, so I'm gonna have to clean it up, and hopefully my uncle doesn't fucking burn down my place when I'm gone for ten days or nine days, whatever gone we are, nine days, yeah, we're gone for nine days, so... I have to hope that I could get you guys nine videos done that are scheduled because I really want to have a video each day but being on vacation time it's just it really has me on the edge right now um, so I've been so I've been only focusing on the Red Hulk Yoku for Nemo haven't been focusing on any of the other ones that I got just because I'm trying to speed whore it as fast as possible I think CSB comes back next Monday I think it's next Monday, so oh, it's gonna be interesting. There's not a lot of people that do CSB, or that are able to do it, I should say. So hopefully this time around we have a lot more people. Um, it's been, I mean, it really sucks that you only get 13 fragments from Harry Bone here, because even in here it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a freaking while. And Karinji's gonna be able to third reset soon, but I don't know what I wanna do. I mean, I can't keep him. Yeah, I can't keep him until I get his sixth mod or whatever, seventh mod, whatever, sixth mod, I think. Because it's gonna just take too much. It's gonna take too much time. And I can't afford to really level him up to that point. So, I still have to level him up to like 95 for the third mod, or like 100 or something. And then I can just go ahead and inherit him. So I'll probably do that and just give Nemo the mods. Because Nemo has a speed mod again on the third one. So I have to get that immune to silence out of the way. And then just go for the third mod. So for both of those you would need around 800 something modifying fragments. So I'm really hoping that if I inherit Karinji at the third one with 500 gold I'm able to get it. That's the plan right now. Um, as well as today I, I hope I can hit 105. If I can hit 105 today, that means I can go ahead and do the 105 Serate instance, or the palace, and I can start f working on the 100 gears, fully infusing them and all. Um, I'm not going to be getting 110 sets, because I really feel like, even though I hit 100 a few days ago, or was it like at the start of this month, I'm, I still haven't been getting one level a day, but it's still like every two days... I level up, or maybe even it's been less than that, honestly, I can't remember when I hit 100. It's still been pretty fast, and it's not going to be too slow. Um, the thing is, once you reincarnate, you actually do level a lot faster. At least it's felt that way to me. So we're going to get this done with. And let's just get a single one out of the way. So we're going to have exactly 10,000. And like I said, I am going for the four level 10 spirit stone boxes. I just freaking pray. Well, you can keep redeeming them. It's not... What the fuck? It's not one time? Or it might just be a visual glitch right now. It's probably a visual glitch. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to do this shit on video yet. It's just... It's just I'm just too fucking nerve-wracking right now. Having to do that. I still have not tried Hollow Souls. I've um, recently been playing a shit ton of my Xbox before I leave to Florida because I'm not taking it with me. Um, I got Dying Light, so I've been playing it with Finny. And I have, what's his name? Uh, I just got Rise today for like $10. I heard it was like a very eh game, but I'm, I'm, I, like, I like those Roman kind of games. Especially when you actually are able to fight in like a third person game. It's fucking just love the Roman era. Used to play a lot of Total War games back in the day. 
So I remember Rome Total War and all that shit. I was just hooked onto it. Um, them bonds, though. We need so many just to max out uh, Nemo's speed bond. We're just getting level 22. The next one is another 0.4 increase, so it helps out with the agility. I mean, in the end, you're getting so much. You're getting so much. I haven't been doing Hokumundo recently on Brazil, but that's because I don't really think I'm going to be going for any of the special war power partners. Nozorashi is going to take too long, so I think I'll just keep stacking my coins and do Hokumundo when I feel like it. Because it's it's freaking ridiculous to put that much work into Hokumundo just to get Nozorashi in like four months. That shit is too much work on Brazil. So I'll just stick it out with this team. Wouldn't mind getting another support though, or just get TSI for damage, but I don't think I could get them from these events. Uh, Discount Frenzy is probably the only one, but I'm pretty sure they don't have TSI, unless they changed who they have in Discount Frenzy recently. And there was one event that I haven't seen on Brazil in a really long time. It was probably the only event I seen a white Ichigo in, and it was, it was like the, it was like a limited hero event, but instead of renting partners, you bought them full price, and that's where I just remember seeing Ishin and Demon Ichigo and White Ichigo, but I can't remember what the event was called, but it's just I haven't seen it in a super long time. Um, and surprisingly, we still have new players joining Brazil. A lot of people are asking me when the next Brazil servers are going to come out. And all I can say is I have no idea. On the 15th of June, they were asking people, oh, would you like a new Brazil server? And everybody was saying, yeah, yeah, we want one. So they said, they just didn't respond to that. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe maybe a week from now, they'll do a new Brazil server. Like probably same day as I'm going. So maybe like by next Friday, you guys might see a new Brazil server. Um, that's all I can really say for that is just... I recommend you guys, if you're trying to invest money into Brazil, you wait for the newest server. Because, like, nobody wants to, to, wants to compete against me. Especially since it's like two months now, almost, since the server came out. It came out in April. No, it's going to be almost three months. It's going to be almost three months. And I was crazy enough to join this one month and a half late. I mean, you have to be nuts to join it three months late. So, it's really not worth it. Highly recommend you guys wait for the next one. Um, plus, there hasn't even been any good top-up events recently, so I would just tell you guys, top-up bare minimum, get your formation, get your Zanpakuto, just wait for high rebates, because, like, a spot of treasure chest will kind of set you off right right now. Um, I think it's a very good deal to get these spirit stones if you're kind of a shit ton of gold. Since the rebates aren't too high, I wouldn't say you spend towards it, but when I was getting them, it was 500% rebates. Uh, I am considering getting another, maybe, set of agilities for like Tashiro or somebody and then get like a strength and a wisdom well I could get the wisdom for Nemo so she does more damage and I can get a strength for your watch so I'm not sure if I'll get full 110 sets on everybody but just like a couple pieces here and there um, I really don't want to get everyone it because I do plan on getting the 130 accessories later on or on or the 120s I'm not sure I haven't seen the 120s I haven't seen the 130s in this game but uh, Shinigami agent is like very outdated here Freaking Sh Shinigami Urahara used to be a fucking beast. And Shinigami Urahara, I remember the days when people used them. Uh, Rio Guardian, I forgot this thing is here. So, let's see. It's a, it's a lot worse than the US version. As far as the first part, but the second part has a lot of cheap things. So, you got your Muramasa here. You got your Urahara and your Sh Urahara. Got ultimate equipment. Level 1 ultimate accessories. Oh, it's uh, wind sets, never mind. And I don't think they have any accessories actually up in there. It's just full equipment sets, ultimate sets. Uh, limited feedback, you have Tashiro for a 20k top-up, 30k spend. With 200% uh, rebates, when you top-up 20k, you get like 60k gold anyway. So you're spending only 30k of it. You still keep half of it. Uh, consumption doesn't go that far. But 30k top-up gets you a Shine Emo as well. So it kind of seems like they're trying to get you the same team I, I was going for. And a lot of people are asking me, why did I get to share, why did I get Nemo? I mean, I think Nemo is broken. I mean, if you're running three assaulters, she is by far the best support for three assaulters. The only one better would be, well, the only one as good as her, I should say, is Hikifune, because she gives invincibility and buffs their attack, or even Isane, if you don't care about speed. But the problem with three assaulters is you really want somebody to protect them. So that's why Shy Nemo is ideal, or Hikifune. 
There's really no other supports that can benefit the milk. Alagun or Ahana would be good. She would be good just because she gives attack and speed as well. And then you have Discount Frenzy, but it's just uh, Cure Hime, and I think they have Hiki and Demon Ichigo. Yeah, something not, not too crazy, but it's better than nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really hoping that I hit 110. Uh, let me see. So, I wish they had no cooldown for people that have actually a VIP. They should have made this no cooldown if you're a Shinigami agent and stuff like that. Now, another thing that's been coming across my mind is this Pokemon Go game that everybody is talking about. And when I heard about it, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, a new Pokemon game. But when I actually looked at it, you have to actually walk and interact with the game. You have to literally go from to, like streets across from you or wherever city you live in you have to actually venture through the streets and I'm just like the fuck hell no I'm not playing that shit I was looking at it it told me that all the poke shops or whatever the poke shops that they have next to me are fucking ridiculous all right two of them are churches and then two of them are fucking made up there is one called the fucking like the dragon crest which I've never seen in my life it's like someone has a fucking dragon's head on a, on their fence and they were just like, okay, you know, go there, and it's your poke shop. So you tell me to invade someone's personal fucking property, stand in front of his house, and then fucking, like, use the poke shop and shit? Hell no. I ain't taking no part in this fucking voodoo ritual stuff they were trying to get me to do. And then there was another thing called the fucking hanging owl as a poke shop. And I never even knew what the fucking hanging owl was. I never seen that thing. Apparently, the neighbors have, like, a fucking hanging owl, like some plastic owl hanging from the roof and that shit's called a hanging owl. I never even heard of this one of the things they were saying are poke shops. And being in New York City, they're gonna fucking make me walk. So fuck that game. They're gonna be telling me to go to Manhattan, go to Times Square. They said oh most of the landmarks have like the best shit. So do you know how many landmarks New York City has? They have like probably fucking 100 landmarks and they're telling me to go explore all of them. So fuck out of here with that shit. Uh, I'm not taking part in that game. For those of you who are active goers and love to work out and all this shit, congratulations, You f they have finally released a game for you. Crazy gym junkies or active freaks or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I've just never, I don't know, I, I just fucking refuse to do that shit. It's, if you're trying to take a game, I'd rather relax. That's why I never liked the Wii. I had the Wii when it first came out and that shit was just too much fucking work. I like the sports games more than anything, but if you fucking try to play for more than, like, if you try to fucking play one of those games for, like, six hours, you're gonna pass the fuck out, so, hell no, I'm gonna fucking s sit my lazy ass down on the couch and grab a controller, um, but I think we covered most things, did I even do the Conquest of Mates, I think I did, yeah, 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 we did, we did, okay, so another thing I need to talk about is, since we're approaching level 105, and I want to get the 110 accessories. I want to reincarnate everybody. So my biggest issue is this. I need to get to share the 110 since I don't use enough formation. And I'm going to have to get enough reincarnation stones for everybody. So to reincarnate a person the first time is 500. 500 of these rune stones. And I have 2,700. I need 3,000 to reincarnate my main, Nemu, Kukaku, Yawach, Ishin, and Tashiro. If I was to have a like a TSI... For events, then I would have had to have 7, but since I don't have them, I just need 6 of them, so 3,000 orbs. Which I already know will take me like a week or two to get 110, so there's no way in hell I'm going to have this shit ready. Uh, I'll have enough stones by then. Plus I have all these reincarnation fragments. Um, yeah, I have a shit ton of these reincarnation fragments. Uh, let me just show them real quick, so... For a load, yeah, we have over 3,000 of the refines and then 400 soul stones. So we are definitely set as far as reincarnation goes. Now, before I open these boxes, I want to put Tashiro back in the formation. It's been way too long, big boy. It's been way too long. Uh, and then we're going to swap him over. And now I have to get my Hogu's back. So let's uh, take care of this real quick. So... Nemo needs that. Kukaku needs these two. Your watch needs the agility one. You can imagine how annoying this is to do. That's why I just don't swap anymore. But this fucking account is really getting super close to the battle power on my US account. 
And I'm going to get a 104 just for now because we're going to have to get a 110 eventually. So you might as well loosen up the uh, inventory spots. But yeah, this is where the ex experience scrolls are going to come in handy. Like, it's going to take a fucking crazy long amount of time. Like, <laughs> even now, you need two stacks to level up, so it's getting pretty pretty intense. Um, my battle power, since I got 100, how, or 100, yeah. So we gained about 70k battle power just from pure levels. Nothing much has changed, I mean. Nemo is at 549k speed. I still have the Zampacto Fortify that I can do. Um... Did I even do the cross battle offerings? Nope. And that's really it. And I'm gonna pump in the rest of the silver into Rayatsu. So we're gonna get it 66 and use the uh, pills to get a free level. Really need to get this Rayatsu level up because it's it's been tough getting silver. Um, now it's pretty good because I can focus on Rayatsu. I, I don't remember what I was saving my silver. I think it was for all the gear fortifies and refines. That's where all the silver went, so ever since that was done with, I can f focus fully on Rayatsu. Get this done with, and 67 Rayatsu is fine with me. Probably would cost all my silver just to get the, the uh, 68, and then 71 it changes to black color, so looking forward to that one. Um, another thing before I get rid of these, uh, before I use these spirit stones and go through my spirit stones, I will, sp I will basically use all of these equipment chests and sell them for silver because they take up way too much space and as I'm only going for ultimates I don't need them they're just free silver to me so I can't complain about that I'm hoping evil spirit can get me 105 so that's why I saved the Saratoy Palace Saratay, not Saratoy Palace for later The uh, I don't advertise my discord channel enough anymore so really would appreciate you guys if you could come in there and just be active you know hang out with us uh, I've really been wanting to get an active Discord chat, and there's still a lot of lot of captain and lieutenant spots, as well as third sp seat spots, and I've just been trying to get them filled out. I mean, if you guys are into like those chat room kind of things, or just stop in once in a while, it's fine by me. But I just really want to. Ho I hope eventually I get my Discord channel filled up. We're also approaching the 1K subscriber mark, so um, I never did a giveaway before. I was trying to think of what I should do for. It thousand sub giveaway I mean I'll take any ideas I'll take any suggestions I want to do something special so um, if I do a giveaway though it'll probably incorporate the discord chat so for those of you who are giveaway whores which is probably all of you um, definitely join the discord chat because if I do plan on doing a 1k giveaway I'm not saying I will do a giveaway but in case I plan wink wink then you guys that are in the discord chat longer will probably have a better chance of winning you know because, you know, these giveaways are never rigged. They're a 100% chance anyone can win it. Even those guys that just joined last minute and managed to win it. So, you know, anyone can win the giveaway. They're definitely not rigged. And I swear to it. Definitely not rigged whatsoever. But, yeah, I mean, just join the Discord for fun. Now, the biggest moment has come. Where I open these level 10s and I fucking pray for good luck. So I pray to Lord Cat God... Share me your wisdom, your luck, and your money. Alright, I'm gonna open them one by one. So I can react individually. Okay, stamina. That is good. That is a good sign. Okay, that's a fucking wisdom. That's even a better sign. Okay, please. Please, please, please. Oh my god, another wisdom. Oh my god. Okay, and the last one? <laughs> I mean, I can't be greedy, but fuck. Alright, two wisdoms and a vigor. That's really good. Fuck, I'm greedy, though. You fucking bastards. Why couldn't one of them be agility? Alright. Three out of four were great. So I will not complain. Psych? I'm always gonna fucking complain. Alright. Um, might as well go through my stones. So I'm gonna make this a, a longer video just so I could repay you guys for the Sword Art Online video that a lot of people didn't like. <laughs> So I'll, I'll make this longer, I'll go through all my stones and we'll see what happens. I'm definitely way over the block cap now. My block is at 96%, so I can't really drop a block, but I could probably synthesize some things. Yeah, I could probably synth some shits. We'll just have to see. Can't remember. Um, yeah, I think we could definitely synthesize one of them. And still keep the 90% block, and then... What can we throw in there? Like a break, like a crit maybe? A crit would be nice. 
Um, Alright, so Nemo got two wisdoms, which is going to be fucking amazing. Uh, everyone has amazing staminas as well. Beautiful stamina stones, beautiful. So we're just going to be generous hosts and... Let's see, they're, all of hers are nine. So we're going to get her another ten. And then we're going to make this nine a ten. The fuck? Okay. And we got another 10. So we have 5 10s on her for pure stamina. Now, Shy Nemu is going to get the fucking royalty treatment because I already have all 10s on her. So these just basically become straight up 11s. Now, I haven't had the greatest spirit stone look, but when it comes to the soul cultivation ones, my shits are always amazing. Like, I swear. My Bleach Online account ones, all the spirit stone boxes I opened were fucking amazing. We're near 300k keto attack. Thanks to those two level 11s, and they're fucking beautiful. So, I'm really happy with that. Um, now, as I was saying, we will be going through all of these stones, because I'm too lazy to do them off video, so I, I need to do them on the video, so I can actually do them. And as far as strengths, though, we have very high standards for strengths. I think Toshiro has the lowest ones with 10s, and even Kukaku has 8s, and I was getting her some 9s. Um, I really don't pull, I don't know, I'll probably try to get her a full set of 9s, just so I could beef up my Vanguard even more, because she does do a significant amount of damage in events when I have to swap everything from Ishin to her. Um, so we can make 2, I'll just stick with 2 level 8, yeah, 2 level, or 1 level 8, sorry, and we'll send it to Kukaku, and that's the strengths done. So they will remain like this, bam. Agility wise, your watch has the worst agilities. He has all eights, while Toshiro has a twelve, a nines, and some eights. So actually, I think I'll just make Toshiro faster because your watch's speed does not matter as long as Toshiro can skill and freeze the enemy. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we can make one eight, I believe. Yep, one eight thanks to two level sevens. Um, I will try to do a Hollow Soul video, probably before I leave to Florida, and then maybe schedule that shit out. I'm really trying to think of things I could do without having to do a lot of work into my videos, because um, some of the videos I want to do, it involves a lot of photoshopping, and I'm too lazy. Alright, Wisdoms, I think I'm going to leave alone, because either I get level 7 Wisdoms, or, yeah, I only have one level 7 Wisdom to give and then make it an 8 on Kukaku. She doesn't have a lot of strategy defense. It would probably be better to drop. Now if I drop the block, how much do I am? At? I have the uh, 84%. Now if I synthesize this, it gives me, becomes 88%. So I'll just take the 88% block, honestly. I'll take the 88% block and we're gonna stay at 88%, yeah. I'm going to take that because I need to kind of give her a little bit more. Yeah, I'll just use up the Wisdoms, fuck it. We'll give her some more defenses this way. Hopefully I can make a 7 and an 8. I'm not sure. Um, it does seem it does seem like a good... No, actually, we only can make two sevens. So we'll just basically get the level 8 Wisdom. Um put it there and then put the level 7 wisdom down there so that raises up the defenses a little bit that's really good um she, it's not like i've seen kukaku die i haven't seen her take such crazy hits yet where it just leaves her like pretty much destroyed except for hollow soul maybe so the main has the rest of the staminas and all i really do is just rob him because fuck the main the main is just there to hold the stones and if I need them, I take them. That's basically what the main is doing for me. We're at approaching 2.5 mil battle power. Now, my main, my US account is very close to... Um, actually, I'm going to rob him. I'm going to give someone else more stamina. So he'll hold the level 7s for now. Uh, your watch is definitely going to need them, but... probably want Nemo to have them. I want rather have Nemo have more HP than Tashiro, because... She needs to survive first. So, as I was saying, though, I don't know what I was saying. 
Um, let's just start a new topic. Fuck, what the fuck was I saying? Okay, we have 30 level 4 hits now. Hits are very good. For Aizen, you need an insane amount of hit. But as I was saying, yeah, my US account is approaching 2.8 mil battle power, and this one's at 2.5. So, within almost 5 months on my US, this account is a fucking ball sack. It's catching up way too fast, and I can't control it. I mean, it's just it's so much easier to, to be on here than it is over there, and I can't really do anything about it. So, what I am tempted to do is take all the high hits from my uh, main and give him some very shitty ones. Because hit is a very big deal. So I can make one, I believe. No, I can make two. So I'm gonna take those. Take the high ass hits from my main. And basically, it's gonna be tough trying to work around for um, the Eisen fights because my yo know, Namaya did it without turn one. I think I could drop a lot of break defense when it comes to solos because I really don't think break defense matters. At least when I was fighting Aizen, I wasn't getting blocked. It was just an issue of I couldn't crit, and my crit rate was very was pretty much capped on the Maya, and I still couldn't crit. So crit rate does not matter. It's just gonna basically need need to have 90% counter for your watch, and um, just very my crit doesn't even matter. Like I said, if I can't get over 100% crit, I'm not gonna hit him anyway. Um, yeah, your watch has fucking, whew, those are some nasty hit stones, holy shit. So, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with these. So, he has a 12 hit, a 10, I believe, and another 10. So, this alone would get me two more 10s. The thing is, I think everybody, I think Kukaku has a very high ones as well, so she has a 10. And, yeah, so, shit, I could get you. Damn, the fucking wish I had these hitstones on US. This is gonna make it so easy. So, I actually have all the hitstones that I need. Um, okay, so, for now, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this the way it is, okay? I'll be doing a Hollow Soul video shortly. I wanna see what happens. So, then I'll mess with the hitstones. I really don't know. As far as I can tell... I will have probably like a full set of 10s with 112, and that's way more than enough to actually do uh, the Aizen solo. It's just a matter of if I can one-hit him, or if I can do really good, so. I know Aizen isn't easy. I would probably destroy him on, on uh, US, it's just I can't fucking crit. If I could crit, I would win easily, because without Nama with Namaya's damage, I was doing up to... I think 2 million of his health when you had 600k left. And honestly, the Aizen solo doesn't seem that hard to me when I was doing it. So it's just a, just a matter of critting, which I can't do it. So I'm, I'm really disappointed in that. Um, what's her second highest dodge? Okay, she has a level 9. Um, I should have probably dropped like a dodge and put another... Like, I don't know what I could put, actually. So we got a fucking 10. Shit. What's the dodge at on her? The dodge is at 96% as well. So if I drop this, I go back to 80%. Dodge is useless, but I'm just keeping it as a filler there. Um, she has 90% block because of refine, so that's good. All I could do is give her more break defense and more crit, so... I would have thrown in a crit stone in there, but my crits are terrible, so that's that's actually what I need to do for the overall of my team. Um, my crit stones are just really shit. There's really no other way to put it. When I was opening all those spirit stone boxes, I really was not getting a ton of crits. That's why your watch still has two sixes, so let's just make sixes and start synthesizing them. Um, but this is actually going to slowly upgrade them stones. Oh, fuck. I think it was a good idea to send those, actually. Um, I would like to get rid of that freaking gold stone and get all reds on your watch, but... Uh, you know, times are hard. We're on a budget right now. Um, what's his crit at? Fuck, I don't need to actually... I'm too used to 
going to this character screen where you could just check here. So he has 82% crit, and Tashiro is at 46% crit, so his crit is shit. Nemo has 78%, but her crit doesn't matter since Cotton gives her 100% crit turn 1. Um, so that is a 7. This is a 6. So we can get him another 7. That's a 6, that's a 6. Okay, so there's the problem. I have um, 2 crit stones. Or 4 crit stones in total. So that's the reason for him having a lower hit. Now, what does this bring it up to? It brings it up to 52%, so it wasn't a huge increase. But this is the best I can do. His break defense. Everyone has 90 fuck, he has 99 fucking break defense? Why is this shit even on him? Uh, he has that fucking 72 now. But if we just sent one, he's gonna have the whole thing. Now I could give him a crit stone. Um, there we go. <laughs> he has a fucking crit stone. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more crits to give him, so... At least we have a spot for him now. That's really good. Okay, now we're moving on to the break defenses, like I was talking about. So, Toshiro is settled with the break defenses. Uh, Nemo is definitely done with the break defenses as well. She has exactly the amount that you need. Um, counter attack, she has 30% counter. The biggest problem with counter is that you really want to have very high counter stones just so you can go ahead and drop the basically take up less space. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, fuck me. I, I just realized that this video is going to be a fucking long one. So I'm going to try to wrap this up. Oh shit. Why do I always do long fucking videos? Alright, so we're going to have these 11 counters. And I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. So for now, I'm just going to send them and leave them. I did skip the break defenses. Oh shit. Thing is, nobody needs break defense. So the main does. Well, I guess the main is going to get them pretty much um, f sevens are the lowest. So yeah, we're going to work with that. Sevens are the lowest on the main. And then after that, everyone has eights. Kukaku could use a higher ones just to bring her closer to the gap because the fucking main is worthless. Like, why does it even exist? Even, even I would have an Ichibe in the main, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this works out perfectly because I have four of these. So we're gonna get her higher break defense. 63% now, lovely. Vanguards really need to get at least above 50%, so being at 60%, I'm fine with that. And then we're gonna put a level 8 here, and we're gonna synthesize the last level 7. So we just, these stones were actually a huge thing. Um, we have blocks, but sadly, I'm not gonna, I should fuck it, I'll just fuck it, I mean, the video's already long enough. People watch this shit, then uh, it's gonna, doesn't matter how long it is, actually. Um, fuck, I don't know if I can make a level, I need to make a level 9. So, I don't, definitely don't think I have enough. Hell no, I was tripping if I thought I had enough. I was tripping, um... Yeah, I mean, shit, a level fucking 8 blocks, so that's not gonna work out. And the main has agilities. Now, I really wanna fucking rob the main of agilities and just give him blocks and shit because speed wouldn't matter on him. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just gonna have to fucking end the video here now. It's. I didn't expect it to be 40 minutes. I was like, you know, a cool 20 minutes is fine. 25 max, and then. These, sto these stones just fucking really took me out of it. But I'm really happy we got lucky with the uh, level 10 spirit stone boxes. Let's finish it up on a evil evil thing. So we need the uh, book of ends for this, right? So let's just go for the book of ends. The book of fucking ends. I didn't even do the 100 instance to the max. Uh, we got three books of ends here. I didn't do it to the end, did I? Nope, so... I really don't want to do it until I have to. It's just a waste of vitality, but, uh... 
Alright, so now I'm gonna end the video. We got fucking 5 out of 20 chances, whatever. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. This makes up for that sort of online video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the Naruto, uh, not Naruto, Bleach Online video after this.